Yo, howdy folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to show you how to design a sponsorship table in Figma. What I mean about sponsorship, it means our table going to be like this. And without further ado, let's get started. So in here I already on Figma file and the first thing that we need to do is to add text, table text, I'm going to use inter 14, 14 times to 1.5 for the line height and change it to regular. For the color I'm going to use 333, oops, 100%, okay. And then let's give auto layout, 20 pixel and 15 or maybe even smaller no let's give it 15 I'm going to rename this into table item and then let's keep some background white color stroke for the bottom and make it on the center I'm going to change the color into easy 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 okay and then I'm going to duplicate this and then I'm going to make this as component plus to add another variant. I'm going to change this into bold and then change this for title, text, and then text plus icon. Let's add from my library i'm going to add for example maybe facebook i just easily grab it in here and make it six I'm going to range the size of this 114 because by the end we're going to use fill container for the table and then i'm going to add another variant now this time for status Let's grab the text and success add auto layout change top and bottom six and then this is going to be ache we can this into status let's add color 100 to make it have corner radius make it white if you think the space left and right too small, let's make it 10 then. Alright. Next thing is, I would like to make it as component as well. Add variant. And this time will be pending. You can just change the color into orange. To indicate the pending item. And then another variant. This time will be error. Let's make them have the same size, which is 76. 26, and this is going to be red color. Right. Don't forget to name the variant. Okay. Let's put it here, and then let's go with local component, search our status, drag it and put it on the table item i'm going to resize this into 20 pixel make it 1.2 the color will be same with the text then i'm going to select all of this make it left align this is supposed to be 51 so it have the same size all right we are ready the next thing is let's grab the table item i'm going to edit in here duplicate put it on the bottom like this select both of them and shift a I'm going to rename this into table row change it into text duplicate all right and then let's duplicate this table row select both of them shift a again and then i would like to give stroke using this color but for the right side 
yep and don't forget to make it first on top so it will be visible all right and then let's duplicate this so if you drag it it will be not responsive as you can see to fix that let's hit enter so it will be select all of our table row and change it into fill container still not fixed why it's because our table item it's not fill container yet so let's just change it into fill container now it works so the key to make it responsive is actually on fill container let's change this frame name into table okay now i would like to implement this row section using text icon seems like i don't change the name yet we just change it to status and then i'm going to rename this platform make it facebook maybe figma link in oh i don't have that dribble and then and then play store google play the last one will be instagram maybe we can add another row for dropbox all right For this table text, I'm going to make it as date. Let's use some random date, example 2024. I'm going to just copy and paste it to all of the table item in this row. This one will be payment method. I'm going to use text plus icon again because I'm going to change all of this icon into card map this icon visa and yep something like that okay and then for this one it will be price let's say 115 oopsie cool the last one will be status let's change all of this into status success this is going to be pending success success error and this one will be pending all right let's check our table so if you drag it it will be responsive see but if you notice we have a lot of white space in price and status so i will be just make the size of it 120 even though we set this two row into fix doesn't mean our table not responsive it will be still responsive see because this three table row will still fill container only these two row that not fill container same goes if you add another table row it will be still responsive but for now i will be keep it like this all right in here i have home page basic layout where i have left menu and top menu i'm going to put our table inside this frame i'm going to make it 20 and for the top 20 as well and let's drag it until this one if you don't like a lot of white space in here we can just easily add another table row uh, maybe we can add type and subscription uh, something like that will be just change this into advertisement copy this 
seems like we also forget to change this google play store and this one instagram all right then i would like to add stroke using this color and make it center so we got a good stroke the next thing is let's give this auto layout 20 pixel for left and right and 20 pixel for top and bottom i think it's better if we duplicate all of this content to fill all of this piece so to do that i would like to hit enter hit enter again and deselect the title duplicate duplicate something like that yep that's enough and then let's give auto layout between this table and the top navigation auto layout added and then for oopsie and then hit the page let's keep the auto layout i would like to keep the size 124 if you drag it it will be still not work what we need to do is to make our table and our top navigation fill container right frame supposed to be fill container our table will be fill container as well so if we drag it it will be responsive so if you drag it it will be responsive you can playing around with this table maybe you can make it round or the maybe you can give corner radius or give title filter something like that but this is just some basic responsive table design in figma i will be very appreciate for any kind of support and see you in the next video